Hi all, today we are going to discuss about what is the effect of tap changing transformer on the formation of Y bus matrix. So how the modification will be done. So generally we know the tap changing transformer is generally provided in the transmission line in order to control the voltage in order to maintain the terminal voltage constant irrespective of the load. Generally the tap changing transformers are provided and we know the tappings are generally provided on the high voltage side. The advantage of providing on the high voltage side is because in the high voltage side the current is less. So automatically when you are changing the sparking will be less that is the first advantage and the second advantage in the high voltage side the number of turns are more by changing one turn in the high voltage side the effect that means we can control the fine tuning of the voltage by providing the tappings on the high voltage side that's why the tap tapping changes are always provided on the high voltage side. So let us take for example I am taking a tap change in transformer. So this tap change in transformer I have represented in per unit diagram. So per unit diagram Z is the per unit impedance referred to the secondary side and at the receiving end I am representing the current as IR receiving end voltage is VR and the generated voltage in the secondary side is E and the primary side voltage and currents are VS and IS and let us assume so actually because if you are representing in per unit it will be 1 is to 1 so let us assume because of the tappings that ratio is disturbed the nominal ratio is disturbed so that change in the because of the tappings I am representing by T where T is the per unit of nominal tap position. So of nominal tap position I am representing by T and Z is the transformer impedance in per unit. So how to represent this one in the form of the admittance matrix equivalent. So in order to draw the admittance matrix we know that it should be in the form of series admittance should be there between two nodes that means between sending end and the receiving end node or there should be admittance the shunt admittance shunt admittance at sending end and the receiving end between this sending end node and this will be my neutral point agree with me this is my neutral point and this is my positive point or the phase so let us represent this terminals as p and q let us take for example so between this p and the neutral between q and the neutral between these two nodes there should be some admittance so i want in this form so for that i am writing the equations so first i can write the equation for vs will be equal to 1 plus t times of e because this e is there 1 plus t times of e will give my value of the vs so similarly i can write my value of vr is equal to e minus ir into z so let us take it as equation number one and let us take it as equation number two so now what i am doing from equation number one i am writing the value of e and substituting here i want to eliminate the value of e here so from equation number two i can write as vr will be equal to e is nothing but vs divided by one plus t agree with me vs from this e is equal to vs divided by one plus t agree so this one i have to subtract that means ir into z so this way i will get or from this i can write my value of ir so the receiving and current will be equal to 1 by z times of vs divided by 1 plus t minus vr getting in this form so from this i can further simplify this this ir i can write in this form because i want the series element should be difference of the values so this i can i want in the form vs minus vr by something so vs minus vr by something if you modify so this can be written as vs minus vr divided by 1 plus t accordingly i am making the adjustment for the value of vr so this will become vr divided by 1 plus t you can just try to simplify it so you will get the value same value you will get so here t i forget right so t will be there when you are writing it so t times of vr by 1 plus t so let us take this as equation number 3 so again this equation number 3 i am further simplifying i can write my value of ir is equal to vs minus vr so 1 by z i think i forget here right so this will be 1 by z also will be there so i am just further simplifying this one here so this i can write as ir is equal to 1 by z times of so this will be vs minus vr divided by 1 plus t times of z this is one current minus so second one is coming as vr divided by z into 1 plus t divided by t i have brought the remaining things to denominator so this i am representing first one then we will go for the sending end so i can tell my receiving end current this is my receiving end current this is the sum of two currents so this is one current and second current is this one because we know the sending end is supplying the current the sending end current will come up to here because some carter sending end current will divide here remaining current will pass here 
and when the current reaches here some part of the current will go down and remaining will come to the receiving end so we can tell this ir is nothing but the current coming from here minus current going into this branch or current coming from here is nothing but difference in the voltage between these two nodes difference in the voltage between these two nodes divided by impedance is nothing but the current so we have written in that form vs minus vr divided by the impedance that means the equivalent series impedance is 1 plus t times of z so out of this current comes some current is gone here so i have represented minus vr divided by that impedance that much current is going down so this shunt element will be this will be 1 plus t into z divided by t this is my shunt branch element up to here it is clear now let us see in the sending end similar way i want in the sending end the shunt branch element and cross verify the series branch element is same so again sending and current i can represent is will be nothing but ir divided by 1 plus t you agree with me so so from equation number 3 so from equation number 3 i can calculate my value of is will be equal to in this equation only thing is this ir is there ir i have to divide with 1 plus t so this will become equal to 1 plus z times of vs divided by 1 plus t whole square minus vr divided by 1 plus t this is what we got so this one i am further simplifying so this i can write in the form 1 plus z into vs minus vr divided by 1 plus t minus t times of vs divided by 1 plus t whole square so why i have written in this form because i am dealing with the sending end i want in the form sending end voltage by impedance and sending end voltage minus receiving end voltage by impedance because out of the sending end current it is dividing into two parts so that's why i have represented like this so this you can write so this indicates vs minus vr by z into 1 plus t this indicates the series element so this is the current and the second current is decreasing is is the sum of these two so this i can write in the form vs minus vr divided by z times of 1 plus t plus because there is a sum of two currents plus the next equation actually minus sign is there that minus sign i am taking inside minus vs divided by minus vs divided by 1 plus t whole square so this will be multiplied by z divided by t this t is coming to denominator in this form so this is my final equation that means the shunt branch element i can tell this shunt branch element will be z into 1 plus t whole square by t with the minus sign so z into 1 plus t whole square by t with the minus sign so in this form we have to represent so practically what happens along with the transformer because only tap changing transformer only will not be there tap changing transformer along with that the transmission line will be there either in the primary side or in the secondary side so let us take the example the transmission line is there in the secondary side of the transformer having a per unit impedance of z1 so the transformer per unit impedance is z so in that case how to represent this one so in order to represent this one only difference is it is like previous only because this is my receiving and voltage after the transmission line so add these two impedances so that impedance you can take as equivalent to transformer impedance that means wherever z is there in the above equations you just replace with z plus z1 so if z1 is the transmission line impedance so i can write it as 1 by z plus z1 into remaining will be same wherever z is there i have replaced so now once this equivalent value is obtained so that i can represent in terms of admittances because i want in terms of admittances so admittance means inverse of the impedance so i have to take 1 by impedance so that gives my admittance let us take for example i am taking two nodes one node is p another node is q my reference node is this one that is a neutral or the reference node in that case how to calculate the admittance so whatever impedance is there 1 by this impedance will be admittance this will be nothing but 1 by 1 plus t that is z 1 by z will become equal to y so this is ypq divided by 1 plus t similarly this second element also 1 divided by this one this will become t by 1 plus t whole square into ypq minus t by 1 plus t whole square into ypq similarly this will become t by 1 plus t times of ypq in this form you have to represent so once the equivalent diagram is obtained we have already seen how to form the admittance matrix in the last class so whatever the shunt elements are there that will come for the case for the for the case of 
the current that is entering only that node matrix that means y let us assume this is p y p p so for y p p this element also will come this element also will come whereas if you are calculating y p q or y q p in that case only the series element will come shunt element will not come similarly when you are calculating y q q so this also will come plus this also will come but when you are calculating y p q or y q p only this element will come with negative sign so these details we have already discussed in last class i don't want to discuss it again here i hope what is the effect of tap changing transformer and how to draw the equivalent circuit for admittance matrix is clear to you if you still have any queries you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much